Well, hey, JC Kids parents, this is Jeff, and I wanted to come to you today with an update on kids' church safety protocols. Now, you may have seen in the news over the past couple days that our county executive, Mark Elric, has proposed uh, an executive order that would decrease the capacity in a number of things countywide, businesses, restaurants, and for our purposes, churches. Now, that has not passed yet. The county council is pl uh, planning on voting on it next week once they get a little bit more feedback from area businesses. But in Kids Church, we want to do two things. One is, first and foremost, we want to keep you safe. We want to keep your kids safe, you safe, your family safe. That is something that we work very hard and we, we have since we've begun meeting together back in June. We wanted to make sure that everyone stays safe. We also want to make sure that we are on the front edge of following uh, all of the county and state COVID safety protocols. We, we want to make sure that we're not negligent in following all of those. So we are beginning to dig into that executive order and make sure that we're following it to keep your kids safe. Now, I put out a video of all of our safety protocols. If you haven't seen it or you want to review it, I'm going to link that in the YouTube uh, video description. And if you're watching this on Facebook, I will link that in the comments so that you can take a, a, a view of that. Now, a couple things that are important to note in that. First of all, I shared that we want to stay outside as much as possible. Now, I thought coming into November, we'd be done with outside. I thought it would get too cold. Man, this weekend's looking beautiful, so we're going to be outside. Uh, we know that that's the safest place to be. The county, the state, all of the scientists and doctors agree that outside activities are the safest. So we'll be outside anytime it's over 50 uh, and dry. So we'll, we'll be out there. And, and of course, we've been doing that since June. We know how to keep that safe, how to keep kids distant and, and all of that kind of stuff. Now, inside, uh, the previous executive order, based on our square footage, said that we could have a maximum of 31 families in the spot where we hold kids church. Now, as we measured out seating, we said 31 families, that, that's never going to do. And we went ahead and said we're going to place our own limit at 24 seats. We have 24 seats set up in the spot. And we said that is the safe way to make sure all of the kids stay six foot distance uh, and, and are able to, to, yeah, to just be distant from each other during kids' church. Here's the good news. Uh, the new county standard that was proposed by Mark Elric is that we uh, limit uh, ourselves to 25% capacity of the room. The room's capacity is over 100 kids, which means the 24 seats that we have already exceed even the new proposed executive order from the county. That's how much we care about keeping you and your kids safe. We are even exceeding uh, the capacity restrictions set forth by the county because we want to make sure all of those kids are able to stay comfortable and distant from each other. So for Kids Church, we don't need to enact any new safety protocols. We think that we've done a really good job of enacting all of the necessary safety protocols. And like I said, you can review that on that video uh, that I'll link in the description and in the comments. Uh, but it's, it's, I think it's great news that, uh, and I think it kind of reinforces that we're doing the right things. We're already doing the right things to keep everybody safe. Of course, we always have a, an online version of Kids Church as well. We call it our studio version. And we release that at 9 a.m. on Sunday on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook group. So there's two options for kids. Both are safe a digital version at 9 a.m. and anytime after on demand, or an in-person version at 11.15. I do want to emphasize how important it is to register your kids for that in-person version. We are limited to 24 seats, and we want to make sure that we don't exceed that. So uh, anytime your kids are planning to come to Kids Church, you want to register at ilovethischurch.com slash events. And in fact, Registering earlier in the week will help secure your child and make sure that they have a spot here in the spot. Well, we love you. We miss you. I, honestly, as I was looking into the capacity in the room and I saw it was over 100 kids, and I dream of the day when the vaccine is here and COVID is behind us, where we would have 100 kids in this space celebrating, singing, dancing, learning about Jesus and experiencing the incredible community that can be found at Journey's Crossing. But until then, we know we have safety protocols in place 
to limit the number of kids here, but keep everybody safe. I love you. I miss so many of you, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye-bye, everyone.